In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the config tool software to change the IP address of an IP camera, NVR, XVR, or DVR on your network. I'm first going to open the config tool software by double clicking it and bringing it over. And here we can see well, I have a bunch of different devices on my network. Here is an IP camera that I just initialized. It's on the default IP address. If I were to plug in another camera, there would be an IP address conflict. So that means I need to change the IP address for this camera. However, since it's initialized with the different password than admin, I need to first go to the search setting and then drag this over and enter in the password that's currently set on my camera. It happens to be our factory default password and then I'll click OK. What this will do is research my network and use this password to log into any of the devices that I try to modify. Since I want to change the IP address for this camera, the one that's on 1.108, I need to click the Edit button. It's going to bring up a Modify IP Address screen, and in here I can either set the camera to DHCP, which is automatic, or I can set it to a static IP address. We recommend using a static IP address, that way you can stay organized and set the rest of your cameras to subsequent IP addresses. For example, I'm going to set this camera to 192.168.1. Dot 109. The subnet mask for my network is 255.255.255.0. That's a standard subnet mask. And the gateway is the IP address for your router. In this instance, mine is 192.168.1.1. In most standard networks, your gateway will be the dot one address for your network scheme. I'm going to click the OK button and I should receive a green check mark icon. If I click that green check mark icon, we can see the details where it was able to modify the IP address for the 192.168.1.108 address with a success result. I can close out of this window and then click the refresh button to research my network. As we can see, this IP camera is now successfully set to the 192.168.1.109 network. If we go back up to the search setting again, we'll see that I have the other segment search set to 10.1.1.1. If I had any IP cameras that I first connected to an NVR, they would be of that 10.1.1.1 IP address scheme. And then I could use this config tool to search my network for those cameras, and then also click the edit icon to get them back on my main network. This is useful for troubleshooting purposes, or if you just want to access the web interface of your camera to configure it. Hopefully this video helps you access and can hopefully this video helps you search your network and change the IP address of the devices on your network and you can also do it to an NVR. For example, I have my NVR on 192.168.1.101 and I could click the edit icon and change it to any other IP address within this network scheme. Thank you for watching.